color management is hard. And yes, it was. Back in the day when we first started color management, you couldn't do it without a color scientist involved in the process. But what I'm really happy to let you know is that today it is possible to fully color manage using just one click. Ever since I started working with color management, sometimes back in 2008, I tried to make it simpler. And it's an amazing, actually, achievement that today in 2023, we are able to do so with a, just a single click. If you're a DaVinci Resolve user, you have plenty color management tools available for you inside DaVinci. So, for example, you have ACES, you have DaVinci Resolve color management, but it takes quite a bit of knowledge and skill to get them adjusted in the right way. Now, if you just want to get along with your job and you just want to click on one button and get the right look, I have a solution for you. Color Lab Free Lab. So what I got here is a clips from different cameras. So for example, this one is from Mari Alexa Raw. This is a red raw clip. This is a um, Canon raw clip. This is black magic raw clip. And this is a Sony FX9, right? So every camera, every clip, you know, is kind of different color space and so on. So now certainly, certainly you can in DaVinci Resolve go and say, hey, um, you know, it's called color space transform, right? You can drag that on and then you can say, okay, my camera is, one second, what was it? Sony, Sony, Sony. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's camera three dot scene rather, right? Okay, then my log is this, right? Then I say, all right, this is my log. Uh, where is it? S log three, right? So you see it's a long list and then I have to select this output. Then what setting should I use? Should I use white balance? Should I apply for what? What's this setting? What's it? So it's, you know, it's quite complicated and, 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 you know, it doesn't really need to be that way. So what actually, you know, I have for you is a completely free plugin that has a several advantages. Number one advantage is that, you know, all you need to do is you need to just drop the plugin onto your node like this and, it, you know, just wait for a little bit until it loads it the first time. And then you have only one click to make. What is the camera? Oh, I'm working with Sony and it's basically Sony S Log 3. Boom, you click on that and straight away you get the result. Right, so for example here, what is this? This is a Blackmagic camera, right? So I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on this, you know, and then I'm going to say, okay, I'm working with Blackmagic Gen 5. You know, I can choose option for RAW or I can choose option for ProRes, you know. Okay, fantastic. So there we go. Now I can just go to my first node, open it up a little bit, right? And then straight away I get basically, you know, the result that I want, right? Then here I have a Canon. All right, fantastic. So again, I just go click on this, I drag it here, and then I have, you know, again from the list, a Canon, uh, this is probably Log 2 Cinema, but if it's not, it's just very quickly, you change it, Log 3 Cinema, you know, uh -huh, no, no, it's Log 2 Cinema, fantastic. So I got that sorted. So then here I have a basically a red camera. So what I can do now is I can just go and say, all right, give me the red camera. Right, so I go scroll down and the red, and I have two options here. I can say, give me just a standard IPP2, so this is your normal IPP2 version, or you have this version as well called DV, which is slightly improved version, you know, that gives you a little bit more kind of, you know, filmic results. But again, you just go into the first node then, you quickly correct your exposure if you need to, and bang, you got the result. It's all fully real-time, it's optimized for real-time performance, it really, you know, works incredibly well. And, um, you know, it allows you simply to, you know, work, you know, much faster, much better. And so be able to quickly color manage your process um, in the best possible way. Color Lab Free Lab is optimized to work in real time and you get some X01 files to start with. And I'm really looking forward to hearing what you think about it in comments below. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have more interesting videos like this coming up. And also, don't forget some of our full training courses we have. Just follow the link in the description of the video below.